Hi guys, it's me Paula and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Paula and I do various beauty related things on this channel, some try-ons, some unboxings, also do a bit of other things like mum stuff and travel, that sort of thing. Today I am really so excited. Um, I'm, I've hit 100 subscribers so I'm going to have to do the, um, I'll do the subscriber giveaway at some point, maybe today or tomorrow. I am very grateful for all you guys subscribing to me. It, you know, it really made me very happy. Um, uh, I'll have to work out how to do the the giveaway, how to do the draw. Maybe I might just do old school, write your names in a bit of paper and pull it out. I know you can get some of those spinner wheel things all as an app, so maybe you'll have to tell me how you guys do it. Um, I'm going to do a bit of a get ready with me just now. I'm going. We've got um. A mulled wine party that we're hosting, mince pie mulled wine party that we're hosting today, and um, so everything's ready. And I'll, all last thing I've got to do is just to get ready myself. So I'm gonna just get ready and have a bit of chat with you. I'm getting ready. Yeah. So hope everyone's um, getting on really well today. I've got my sparkly mirror here. Uh, yeah. How's how's your holiday planning going? I'm pretty much ready now, but it is really difficult once you've got kids because you're kind of trying to do wrapping and stuff when they're at school or they're in bed. And it is quite difficult. And I don't know if you're like me and pretty much um, I do most of the um, most of the wrapping and organising in my family. I thought my husband's been pretty good today for the mulled wine party. He's really helped get the house ready, which is great. I'm really quite excited about it. I've actually bought a, I've actually bought like a popcorn dispenser thing from Joseph, Joe and Seth's, and so I think that looked quite cute on the table um, for the kids. So that's my um, benefit Boeing concealer. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of like people doing their vlogmas. What a commitment to, uh, you know, to get that done every single day up until Christmas. It's quite a big commitment, isn't it? Um, what do you think about Vlogmas? Are you doing it? I'm going to use this primer here. I love this Luminizer Primer by Dr. Brandt. I've kind of nearly finished it. I might have to buy some more at some point. I think it's really good because it gives you a bit of a, a bit of a glow as well. I think the, my favourite, um, my favourite Vlogmas things I think has to be Probably the anti hauls actually, which is weirdly enough. <laughs> oh, that's it gives you a really nice glow on your skin. Yeah, weirdly enough, the, the anti hauls I really enjoy because um, I find that it sort of gives you well, sometimes maybe gives you idea of products you might want to buy, but also it gives you um, just ideas of things that you're thinking. Actually, I get their idea for why they why they don't want to buy something, um, and you know things that you might have. Uh, considered purchasing. I'm going to put a little bit of this, uh, so I've got a sore bit in my hand there, uh, Suva Beauty and it's a tiny little, it's like a glow drops thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it a bit into my Bobbi Brown foundation like that and um, just mix it around a bit, put a bit on my face and then I mix it in with the, I might have to put another plaster on my finger now because it's now coated in this foundation. Um, yeah, so yeah, I was thinking about the stuff that I have seen re recently that I'm thinking I'm definitely not going to buy if I was going to do some kind of anti-haul. And I think uh, definitely a lot of the Anastasia Beauty stuff that's coming out recently, I think it's definite, definite anti-haul for me because I think, I think with that, I, I totally agree with people. Like, um, there's been quite a few YouTubers that I've watched and they've said that, yeah, you know, the... Anastasia Beauty is also coming out with so much launches at the moment and but they're quite an expensive price point and now I mean brands like Colourpop they also do the same thing but their price point is a lot lower so it's you know you know some people probably could think oh yeah I'll, I'll grab a couple of those things from the new launch but with Anastasia Beauty it's sort of this lights going right into the into the camera with Anastasia Beauty it's really quite expensive so they've got this like Norvina palette and to be honest with you the colours aren't the colour story is not really that inspiring I don't think um and I'm going with my Morphe Morphe eyelid, 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 sorry, eyelid primer 
Yeah, the colour story isn't that exciting. And yeah, I mean, this is just my views. I mean, at the end of the day, don't feel upset if it's something you bought or you like, um, because everyone's different, everyone's individual. Um, but yeah, I just thought the colours were, weren't that excited. It was almost like a little bit like they were trying to eat Morphe. And yeah, so it wasn't that's something I'm definitely not going to get is Norvina, any of the Norvina palettes, because I just do think um, it's unnecessary. Right, let's see, I've got this little, let's see, which blusher shall I go with today? I think I'm going to go with the NARS, I think. Mm, no, I think I've got, I've got the Chanel blusher, which is in Innocence, 116 Innocence, and it's really cute. I've had this for a long time, actually, this one. It's really nice. And I think with blusher, you tend to go through very little of it. You don't tend to pan it really that, that easily, do you? Because you're not really working at it, are you, with the um the brush? Right, so that's my blusher, and that's okay. And I'm gonna look for some kind of highlighter. Should I use my beauty light wand? I'm thinking about putting my hair up, I'm not sure. I was thinking of either putting it up and having it in a having like a hairband I'm not quite sure I have to see how it goes yeah so it's either that one or I've got this one here the MAC one's quite pretty let's have a look so should I go for the MAC one should I go for the MAC one or should I go for the candlelight this the one I've got the candlelight wand it's by Charlotte Tilbury the beauty wand and this is an um candlelight one no no, this isn't spotlight. So this is actually not the there's one that's really gold. Let's see. Blend it in a bit. See how that looks. I'm kind of doing this in a combination of my mirror here and the mirror there. Other things I um I'm not so particularly keen on. It's all this color pop. Now, obviously in the UK it's very difficult to get color pop. I think they do it in like London Loves Beauty, and I have bought one palette. I really am tempted to get Smoke Show because I think sm I love the silver. I've seen people do the silver, um, use silver Smoke Show, and it, it is beautiful. But I'm kind of thinking the price we've always got to pay like a lot more to get to get the um the colour pop stuff because it's got to be like shipped over but I do understand what a lot of the YouTubers have said about um the hundreds and hundreds of launches that that they have all the time with um with with colour pop and I know it's affordable if you're in the States you know it's not that expensive and you do get some very unique um products but it's I do feel that you know like they have so many so many launches and I'll pull you closer now what I'm going to do now I think I'm going to do my eyes um quite happy with that I don't really want any setting powder today I'm trying to think of what I might do today I might use um I'll have a look uh, at maybe this new palette that I've got which is now this is something that's a new launch that I wanted to get and this is the Nabla um, cosmetics the dreamy to the mystic palette now this is really nice um i saw this advertised as well i think it was on trend mood i think somebody had it on trend mood and i thought this looks this is really cute so this is one launch that i have hauled rather than anti-hauled um nab is like a more of an indie brand it's um again from the states but they do you can buy it i think on was it look no i think with beauty bay i got this um and i just think the colors are really nice they're so cute um, so I think I might, I'm trying to think of what I might go in with to start with. I think I'm going to go in with Pantheon, which is just like a basic sort of, like, oh, sorry, I'll just pause. Sorry, people are arriving. I'm not even ready yet. It's really bad. You know what it's like when you've got, you're doing things at your house, though. You're ending up not ready. Here's my husband coming up to tell me again that people are arriving. I'll pause it. I can hear the sound of my husband's slippers on the staircase. <laughs> yes, Karen, it's okay, I'm coming. I'm just be two minutes. Okay, I'll just be two minutes. Yeah. You know what husband's like? They're like, I can't open the door. They can't open the door because there's people I don't know. I don't know what to say to them. I'll just say hello. Paul will be down in a minute. 
So yeah, I'm going with Pantene, which is like a really nice, just a nice base colour. And then I'm going to go and I think I'm going to do a bit of sparkle. I think to go with my kind of purple look today, I've got this uh, kind of mulberry sort of coloured top on. I think I might go in with, um, I'm going to wipe off my brush. This is really good. Again, I think I've showed you this before, this Vera um, Mona colour switch. And you just wipe it off. I'm going to stick it on. Let me see. I'm going to go in with I think a little bit of this one here. Yeah, so yeah, I do like um yeah, this is the Nabo Cosmetics one. And you know what I really want to learn to do next year is I really want to learn to do that um cut crease thing that people do. I'm actually going to use my mirror here. I'm going to turn this off though because it's really bright. Yeah, I want to do the cut crease thing that um I see a lot of YouTubers do because it's really I I really think it's uh stunning when people do it and the only thing i would say about this this color this is a little a bit crumbly i really like when you get eyeshadows that apply and they're really smooth going on and you don't get all this kind of fallout so this is um arm armor armor armored arm arm cord yeah so yeah sorry about the quality of the light the light's coming in off my window yeah, so um, another thing, um, another thing I'd like, um, probably want to an anti haul is all the hundreds of Morphe stuff that's coming out again as well. I just think I don't know, especially the James pa Charles palettes. They just look exactly the same. Like every single time you get a palette by them, they look identical. They don't look different. They don't look special. They just look identical. Um and they're always massive palettes and I, I just think I just don't I find it overwhelming sometimes to work with a huge huge palette I like to have a small amount well not a small amount of colours I like to have a, you know some colours but I don't like having this huge huge palette to work with um so I better hurry up actually my husband's gonna be calling up the stairs again I'll blend this out oh oh my god I haven't colour switched that rookie error rookie error I haven't washed that brush. Oh my god, rookie error. I thought that was my new brush because I got a new brush and a palette. I'm gonna have to like fix that. Um that was a rookie error. Now I got some new brushes in a in a in a box rather, and I thought that was one of those one of those brushes. It looked they just look grey as I'm like I really don't have time to take this whole thing off. Oh my god. I shall try and go back in with that um, Pantheon again, even up. I'm just going to have to do a patch up job here. Total rookie error here. But yeah, no, I'm just saying about Morphe. There's so much with Morphe that's um, it's just, you know, they're just the same looking products. One thing that I have actually um, also ordered, which was a haul rather than an anti-haul, was I have ordered um, have ordered the new Tarte. Oh my god, that looks so bad. <laughs> the this the Tarte makeup um, sugar is it Sugar Rush? The new B collection. It's like it's, it's like a hive. And um, what I'm just going to do is cover this up with something a bit. I'll go with I'll go with Dionysus. This kind of I'll go with this uh, new past, which is a bit more dark, and that might just cover up. I'll have to use this here. I'm going to pause this while I do this, so I can see if I can try and fix this. Okay, so I've kind of fixed it. Uh, so I used the a little bit of the Dionysus, which is the the sort of mauvey one down there, and then I've put a bit of the Libertine, the gold, which is really nice. Let's see, you can see it there. It's given it a really kind of I don't know, really kind of retro sort of look. I quite like that, and I just put some um, Stila black eyeliner. Um, which is really good. And then I just put some mascara. I'm trying to find the mascara that I used, which was the um, Manica 
Manicada. I've never really heard this, but I got it in a box and it's really nice. So I'm going to put that over the top. I decided to stick my hair up. I've got my my earrings in and I think yeah I think that's pretty much it I might put a tiny spot more of the libertine over the top yeah that was total rookie error that wasn't it <laughs> I need to I definitely need to give um my brushes a bit more of a clean actually I have to say um um which which one will I use oh here is this the one I've been using yeah so a little bit more, a bit more of a gold finish for because it's a Christmas party after all. Yeah, and then I'm going to last but not least, I am going to put on some lipstick. I'm thinking to go in with this shade here, which is a plumberry, to to complement my um to complement the the purples. Um, yeah, so. This actually looks like very different in reality than it does on the camera. It looks like it's bright pink on the camera, like fluorescent or something. I'll just use this little hand mirror. Yeah, so it's... Um... Hmm. Shit, what I might do is put over the top of it to dull it out a wee bit is this it's a very similar shade but slightly more mauvey and it's the um the clinique uh love pop so that one there's a plumberry and that was by laura mercier which is really nice um it just looks really really for some reason it looks really purple and it looks really fluorescent pink on the camera it isn't that color in reality And I will go over with a little bit with this, which is actually quite similar if you see colour there. And this is Clinique Love Pop and it's more of a gloss. It's quite nice. Oh. Okay, so let's see. That's be pretty much ready to go. So yes, I am going to do the um, the hundred subscriber draw later, probably later on today or tomorrow. I do have another. I do have an unboxing. In fact, I might even do the unboxing now um, in another video. But um, yeah, so I'm ready for my party. I uh, hope you all have a great Saturday and just enjoy yourself, whatever you're doing. I hope you're all having lots of Christmas parties and things. And yeah, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you later.